morning, church. Isn't it great to be here in the house of the Lord this morning? You know what the dictionary meaning of um, revival is? It's this. An instance in something becoming popular, active, or important again. A comeback. Let's see prayer make a comeback in this time. Father, this morning, I thank you, Lord, for the great work that you're doing in us. When you give your life to Jesus, you become part of the army. Holy Spirit, help my brothers and sisters put into practice the Word of God. Christ is our peace in the middle of every circumstance and situation. If you and I are not ready to be used during harvest time, which is now, then when will we ever be? The three, three things to be careful of. Apathy, compromise, isolation. Close your eyes and say, Lord, here I am. Holy Spirit, we need you. And there is nowhere you can't reach. There's nowhere by your Spirit that, Father, no matter where we are, where we are, you never leave us or forsake us. I want more of your grace in my life. I want to be used by you. He is bigger. He is all-powerful. And He loves us more fiercely than what we even love people. Lord, touch my life. And I challenge you to step up and get involved and be all that you can be in Christ. Sharing the gospel does not need talent or a degree. It needs obedience to God's word and obedience to the Holy Spirit. We invite you to, to give your heart to Jesus this morning. We are the church no matter where we are. I pray that your very presence just touches each and every person, each and every individual. Revival starts in your heart. So ask him to bring it alive there first. That the Lord Jesus Christ the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Go back to God and let and ask Him for that peace that would guard your heart and mind. Bless you, God. Keep you. Keep your eyes fixed on Him. Be anxious for nothing. In all things, pray. The truth is that in these last days, the most important thing that you could ever have, that you could ever obtain in this life, is knowing God. He's a God who is faithful. He's a God that blesses you. The Word of God, when it's sent forth, and will accomplish exactly what it's sent forth to do. God wants to reassure you that His love for you has it will never change. Our times are in His hands. We don't know our timeline, but God does. We are to make the most of what has what God has given us at the moment. This morning, we thank you, Father. We thank you. You are faithful and that you are a good, good God. You belong. You belong in the house of God, in the, in the family of God. So, we have to make sure, first of all, our relationship with God is number one. The Hebrew word for revive is shayar, and it means to be quickened, to be made alive, to be restored. Because we are going to see great things, church. God knows what He's doing. God is calling you into His family. God wants you to be part of His family. I will put God first and His kingdom. But we have, we have the sword of the Spirit. Amen? 365 times in the Bible it says, Do not fear. That's a do not fear for every day of the year. You know, I'm going to point at you and I need you to point back at me because I want to tell you that you are the church. When you put your trust in Him, God is faithful. And everybody said, no matter where they are, Amen.